Hi, this is Brian, here to share some hints and tips on teaching the theory sections of Computer Practice N5. And now you will be familiar with the new syllabi and the new sections that have been brought in. The new theory sections are some of the green bullet points shown here, such as networks, the internet and communication, computational thinking, the use of online forms, document management online, and the creation of blogs, as well as digital citizenship. Because students often take computer subjects such as computer practice because they enjoy and are interested in the practical components, it can be tempting to leave the theory to the end um, and not give it enough time and to neglect it a little bit. I would like to suggest that you alternate your practical and your theory work. Maybe the suggestion on screen isn't entirely practical in, for all sections, but to intersperse a particular section of practical work with a section of appropriate theory. Doing large blocks of theory at once can cause the students to lose focus unless you introduce elements that capture their attention and keep them focused. We will discuss some of these options a little bit later on. One option to a, a, a very practical one would be to let the students do your theory power breaks at home and let them do the practical power breaks at the college where they have access for sure to computers with the correct software, which might not be the case at home. Getting back to making the theory more interesting, wherever possible, use real examples, tangible examples, such as an actual component that they can see and touch and, and handle, such as a network card or an old a network switch, the actual network cables with their wires exposed inside. If you do not have access to, to real examples like this, then search YouTube and find relevant video clips. You can also, uh, if you are dealing with digital citizenship and you are dealing with different kinds of, of scams, such as phishing, then find a real example, look in your own email and look in your, in your spam bin for examples of the social engineering clips that you can show them what they actually look like. If you, if you don't want to keep them, then, then make a screenshot and store that screenshot so that you can use that to show your, your students in future. There are also suggested video clips for each section provided in the lecturer guide that you can use to illustrate the various um, aspects, especially some of the more complex aspects of the theory. There are also PowerPoint slides that have been provided for each section. They are designed to assist you during your lectures. They cover all the content, and so you can be sure that you will cover all the content if you use these PowerPoint slides. They are illustrated with, with illustrations from the books, where appropriate to engage the students visually. You are also able to adapt these slides to your own style, add your own illustrations, make your own notes and points on those if you, if you so wish. Link your theory to examples from everyday life. Pay attention to what's going on in the technology world. What are the latest malware issues? What are the latest scams that are going on? What are the latest sort of laws that are being written around ICT? And when they are relevant, discuss them with your with your students. The book ha has been illustrated with did you know features that are useful to stimulate the interest of your students in certain topics and can then stimulate further class discussions and can lead to, to further investigation using a search engine and finding out more about a particular topic. Thank you for listening to these hints and tips and good luck with computer practice in five.